It was uh, big last year. It's even bigger this year. Number 14 last year. It's now number 10. It's coming up. And again, our trio from Maine. Turn 
Right now it's 66 in Washington. Is that all set? Are you sure? All right. Do it again. Give me a cue. 66 in Washington. It's easy. What do you mean it's easy? It's the easiest place in the world to buy a car or truck. At Bob Rosenthal's, it's the grand opening of Rosenthal Acura in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And Bob Rosenthal is offering 2.9 APR at all Rosenthal locations. Bob Rosenthal is offering 2.9 APR at all dealerships to celebrate the grand opening of Rosenthal Acura? That's right. That is easy. And Bob Rosenthal makes it even easier at Rosenthal Chevrolet in Arlington, Virginia by doubling the factory rebates. Up to $1,000 direct from the factory, plus up to $1,000 from Bob Rosenthal. That's two thousand dollars take the cash or use it toward your down payment or take the 2.9 apr general motors factory financing now that's easy it's also easy at america's largest rosenthal nissan honda tyson's corner virginia get five hundred dollars cash back direct from nissan on tough new nissan trucks and qualified buyers get 2.9 APR financing. Any Rosenthal location is an easy place to buy a new car or truck. Now even easier with 2.9% financing. This is Dick Surrey with Music Americana on Extra 104, and it's our countdown, the 1986 Music Americana countdown. The top 40 songs were up to number 8. Got any idea what number 1 song is going to be? All we're going to say at the moment is it's not what it was last year. There has been a change. This song was number 10 last year, number 8 this year. I see the light across the bay. I see the light not far away. And I hear music all around. I'm getting close to Portland town. So mother won't. Bye. 
doesn't sound like the one it should be. <laughs> Why get it started if it's not what it should be, I say. That's supposed to be a, a big Tom Paxton song that uh, everyone knows does best by being sung by other people. However, you have to go back one more. Okay, Tom? All right. Try it again. All right. It's a lesson too late for the learning made of sand Going our way with no word of farewell. Will there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better, didn't mean to be unkind. You know that was the last thing on my mind. You've got reasons aplenty. I've been steadily growing Please don't go Please don't go Are you going away With no word of farewell Will there be not a trace left behind Well I could have loved you better song you always want to hear with uh, other people singing, you know, great big chorus, and when he does it that way, you can just, uh, again, feel shivers go up and down your spine. Last Thing on My Mind by Tom Paxton, number seven this year, was number 11 last year, so that's moved up, and Portland Town uh, by Schooner Fair, number 10 last year, moved up to number eight this year, uh, and even Doris doesn't know what the number one no, song is. I can't, can't guess. 
Well, when we talk about Scooter Fair getting eight songs... I thought for sure it had to be them, you know. <laughs> no, they have one more song. Uh, I know which one, though. I would have guessed. Shortly. Yeah. Anyway, how you holding up there, babe? Well, I'm sort of on bar time at this point. I'm trying to act like I'm a real honest-to-goodness person here, but it's borderline at best. I know. I mean, after last night, how can anybody be normal? Mm. What did you think when they first came out on stage? Oh, I was just thrilled. But I I sensed that the audience was going to at least applaud forever and never let them even start singing or, you know, stand, which was, was phenomenal, I think, that they did that. You're talking about the uh, Chad Mitchell trio that got together last night in Chicago. Right. And a group of us crazies... Uh, <laughs> got together to go out and see them. I mean, hey, you know, jump on a plane and, you know, spend a night uh, and a day yeah. in uh, Chicago and see them in concert. It was rather thrilling, to say the least. Well, after what happened in January, we had to go, yeah. you know, and then for Chad to set it up for us to be his guests at the Delta Queens reception afterwards, ooh, we Not had a yet. lovely time. Not only was it nice to get together with the trio afterwards, but mm -hmm. the food was good. It was. It was excellent. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll uh, tell you, that uh, pasta salad was outstanding. Mm, and mm -mm. and, and that, to meet, uh, you know, some of the people from their past and families and friends, it was, uh, it was rare. I mean, how can you repeat something like that? And I thought the January concert was like the epitome of whatever. Now I'm not so sure. Also mm. interesting uh, talking to Mike Koblick, who has three grown children yeah. who have uh, never seen their father perform. Until January. Until then. January, and now yeah. the second time, and they just can't believe that well, their father them, is uh, that talented. <laughs> see them put together two hours of material. I mean, two solid hours of material. I timed it, and with the breaks and everything. So it was, um, and they had a week to do that. Yeah. So it's like with the bike, you know what you said about bicycle? Yep. You, you never forget. Once you learn how to ride a bike, you never forget. Yeah. Well, it was quite an occasion, and we're still <sighs> trying to get over that. It was just a culmination of a very busy week in town. Oh, yeah. So we'll be talking more about the Chandler's Retreat next year. We're going to try to put something together because we uh, interviewed week, them. Next week, you mean. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> next year. It might turn out to be next year. <laughs> Isn't it funny how the brain just shuts right down? I'm look. I'm just worried about what I'm going to say on this calendar uh, now. <laughs> all right, that'll be fun. Okay, mm. here to tell us uh, who's playing our kind of music and where is uh, what's your name again? <laughs> I think it's Doris. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right, let's get serious here. Starting tomorrow night, Monday night, the House of Musical Traditions continues their concert series with Lorraine Doucette. You know, she's from uh, Trapezoid, and her friend Tom Espin. Manola, Espinola, that's it. And Mr. Henry's and Alexandra Virginia is having their open mic that night. Tuesday night, of course, the Birchmere, our monthly showcase with Papino and Ray Owen and Julie Gold and Clam Chowder and my duo Side by Side. Pete Papa George is going to be at the Old Brogue in Great Falls, Virginia. That's Tuesday night. Then Wednesday, excuse me, then Thursday through Saturday, he's going to be at the Irish Times, and he's also celebrating his birthday on Friday. Happy birthday, Pete, from all of us here at Music Americana. Back to Tuesday night at T.T. Reynolds. They're having an open mic. That's in Fairfax. And the four Ps in, in D.C., Tuesday through Saturday, Danny Justice. No relation, folks. It's spelled differently. <laughs> Wednesday night, the Reston Folk Club has their usual open mic. Justin's in Springfield has their usual open mic. The Birchmere has our friend David Mallett with, uh, I guess he'll do Vital Signs and the Garden Song, I hope. The Howard Folk Society is meeting in Columbia, Maryland for an organizational meeting and an open sing. And my duo Side by Side is going to be at the Atrium Stage at the University of Maryland on Wednesday morning. And at Kate's that night, Mark Elliott. And Side by Side is also going to be at the Ethical Society on Sunday morning and at the Pavilion at the Old Post Office on Sunday afternoon. Thursday, at the Birchmere, our friends seldom seen. The Free State Folk Club has their open mic in New Baltimore, Virginia. Tacoma Cafe, Diane Walder and friends. She's an alumni of a Four Provinces Showcase. Tiffany Tavern in Alexandria. Vicki Pratt. 
and then she's going to be over at the Black Olive in Arlington on Friday night. At the Pavilion on Thursday night, Mark Elliott. Friday, let's see, I can't, so, oh, at the Mount Vernon Coffee House in Baltimore, Maryland, Robert Ortez. The Birchmere has Steve Earle and Pete Kennedy with his newly formed group, Bound for Glory. Tacoma Cafe has an open mic. Saturday night, let's see, the Folklore Society of Greater Washington at the um, uh, Ethical Society Auditorium has Cindy Callett, Ellen Epstein, and Michael Cacconi. The Birchmere, Nancy Griffiths. I wonder if she'll do From a Distance. This is a week, isn't it? <laughs> Tacoma Cafe has D-A-R. That's Weird Oldies. That sounds interesting. Stevens College in Columbia, Maryland, the Smith Sisters, Debbie and Megan Smith. That's all on Saturday. And also, uh, to end off the week, Sunday evening at the All View Inn, and that's somewhere near Baltimore. No one gave me an address. There's an open mic. So that is a busy Acoustic Folk Week. It sure is. Yes. And we continue our Music Americana yes. countdown on yes. Extra 104. Here's the song that was number four last year, number six this year. Have you seen the old man in the closed down market? Kicking up the papers But his worn out shoes In his eyes you see no pride And a loosely at his side Yesterday's paper Telling yesterday's news So how can you tell me That you're The sun don't shine. Oh, let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind. And have you seen the old girl who walks? Streets of London, dirtying her hair and her clothes in rags. She's no time for talking, she just keeps right on walking, carrying her home into carrier bags. So, how can you tell me that you're wrong? Let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind. And in the all-night cafe. Quarter past eleven Same old man Sitting there on his own Looking at the world Over the rim of his teacup And each tea lasts an hour And he wanders home alone So how can you tell me That you're Take you by the hand and reach through the streets of London. Show you something, make you change your mind. Have you seen the old man? 
the seaman's mission Then we fade in with the metal ribbons that he wears And in our winter city The rain cries a little pity For one more forgotten hero And a world that doesn't care So how can you tell me that you're lonely And you say for you that the sun don't shine Oh let me take you by the hand And lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something to make you change your mind
bass will just make those speakers quiver, won't they? Leviathan by Schooner Fair. Number five this year. It was uh, six last year. And Streets of London by Ralph McTell. Uh, number six this year. It was four last year. You can see how the uh, top ten, most of them anyway, so just changing around a little. And we're working our way toward number one. Any idea yet? Process of elimination, maybe? Streets of London, incidentally, uh, received... Um, um, in addition to many votes, uh, many performers, including uh, Libby Dutton, um, Scooter Fair, <laughs> and Tony Rice, uh, many versions of uh, Streets of London, but Ralph McTell, the fellow who wrote that song, uh, received the most votes, and that's how that works. In addition to uh, some of the other rules that we have, uh, one of the things we're thinking about doing this year is uh, songs that have made the list for two or three years will go into a Hall of Fame, honor roll, whatever you want to call it, and uh, that's it. They can't be on what we do annually. This is our 1986 Music Americana listener survey, the countdown, the top 40 songs of the year. And it's becoming, as you can see, it's it's been changing, evolving over the years, and some of the old standards are, are being replaced by uh, many new songs that uh, we've heard in the last year or so. And that's the way it should be. And some of the songs, of course, are diehards that will be around for a long time, and we should preserve those, of course. In just a moment, number four, cheer. Number two, last year, song written by Mr. Steve Goodman and sung by, you know...
darkness rolling. 